Hey everyone, it's Drew from NWA3D, and we're going to go over how to install Cura for the NWA3D A5. Now, Cura can be found by Googling it and going to Ultimaker's website and downloading 15.4.6, or by going on to your SD card and using that version of Cura. The reason that we like 15.4.6 is because you can actually plug the 3D printer into Cura using your USB cable to run from your computer if you'd like. If you'd like to do the newer version, like 2.3.1, you can download that as well and just put these exams set these same exact settings as a custom machine. So what we're going to do is when we install Cura, we'll go through all the steps that we need to to install the Arduino software and all the different files that we're going to put in, in there. And then you'll come to this configuration wizard, which says add new machine wizard or first time setup wizard. And then we're going to click next. And then we're going to click right here where it says other other because this is the type of printer that we're going to use it's a rep wrap because we build it ourselves and then we'll click next and then we're going to go to mendel as the operating system right here so once we click mendel we'll hit next and then it says cure is now ready to be used and we'll hit finish but there are two more things that we have to do first so when we pull up cura and we look at it, we'll see that we have our build area here and then we have our settings right here. So we're going to first set our build area to be the same for the NWA3DA5. So we're going to click machine and then machine settings. And then these are also found as a screenshot inside your instruction manual and on the SD card. So we're going to go from the maximum width and change that to 125 and then maximum depth is 150 and then the height is 100. And then we're going to change the heated bed to not heated by unchecking that box right there. So these are the values that you want to have for the printer, 125 by 150 by 100. And then uncheck the heated bed. Now we'll click OK. And then now we're going to set our settings over here to be exactly what we need. So the first thing is our layer height. That's the quality. So this can go all the way down to 0 0.1 for a high quality print and 0 0.3 for a low quality. You can see over here, this is the slice. When it's deciding how long this prints and it tells you the time and how many meters of filament it's gonna use and how many grams, this is gonna tell you the exact time because this is the slice that it just went through. So when I change this to 0.2, you can see the time is gonna go up because it, this has a layer every two tenths of a millimeter, which is gonna be a better quality. And 0 0.1 is the best quality, so you can see that's gonna take 17 minutes to go all the way through that. So we'll go ahead and leave it at 0 0.2, that's a good medium quality. And then the shell thickness, we want this to be a multiple of our nozzle. So we're going to change this to 0 0.8. And this is going to turn yellow because it's like, oh, I don't know if we can do that, but you can do that. You just want to change this nozzle here because we don't have a 0.5 nozzle, we have a 0.4 nozzle. So we'll change that to 0 0.4. And then now these will go clear. And you can see when I exit out of this, you can see how these are turning red. That's because when those are turning red, that means that the printer cannot finish that. So it'll tell you when something's going on. And you can also see these little paragraph boxes that are popping up. They'll explain more in-depth detail of what each one of these steps does. So now we're going to change the bottom and top thickness. We'll change that to 0 0.82 so it matches this one. And then we'll change the fill density. We'll go ahead and change that to 5. So that's 5% filled in inside of your model. And you can usually go between 5 and 20%. The smaller the models are, usually the more fill density you want to have to make them stronger. Print speed, we can leave at 50. Or if you want to have a really high quality print, you can go all the way down to 30. But we'll leave it at 50 for now. That'll be great. And then the printing temperature for PLA is 220. That's the best temperature you want to have because if it's too low of a temperature, like 190, a lot of times that can cause clogs because your printer is having to work harder to push the filament through. And if it's too hot, like 240 or 250, then it might liquefy the filament too much. So it's not going to be able to fuse those different layers together. So 220 is a good place to start. And different types of filament, you'll have to change this value to different levels because not all filament melts at the same temperature. But our pushed plastic filament all melts best at 220. So now we're going to go to the support type and we're going to click everywhere. Just in case it needs supports, it will generate supports automatically. And that will help for if you have different types of models that you're moving around or if you have some overhangs like in a door frame or on a tire where you might need to print some overhangs inside of your model. And that those supports you can easily just pull off when the printer's done. And then the last thing we're going to change is the diameter to 1.75. And that's the diameter of the filament itself. So these are all the values that we want to have set up for our printer. And then now we're going to look at our model out here. So when you click out here, and you can move this around by clicking and holding, and if it turns gray though, then it's too close to the edge, and you're not going to be able to print. It has to be yellow for it to be able to print. You can also right click, and you can delete objects, you can multiply an object, so maybe if I wanted to do more than one, I could do that. 
You could even load more objects up here by clicking load. You could load as many as you want as long as they turn yellow inside of here. And if you wanted to make them smaller, you can even click on this and you can click to scale right here and you can click on these to scale it down on these, uh, these green and red and blue squares. You can also, by clicking on one, you can change the scale here. One is 100%, so I could go 0 0.5 if I wanted it to be 50% size. And I can also change, even on this one, I could change my millimeters. So these, you can see the X, Y, and Z, how tall it's gonna be. So if I wanted this to be exactly three millimeters thick, I could change that to three millimeters thick and it will scale it with everything else unless I unlock this. And then if I unlock this, then if I set this to something, like if I move this back maybe to 25 or something like that, then it's going to keep this scale unlocked. It's not going to scale it together. So that's something to keep in mind if you want to change the different physical properties of your, of your model. You can also rotate it by clicking rotate right here, and you can click stuff and rotate them side to side. But remember, if it turns gray, you have to move it until it turns yellow before it'll print. You can even rotate things up at an angle if you wanted to rotate something at an angle, especially something that's big and flat. Sometimes it helps to, to print it at 45 degrees, and it will print supports underneath it, and that will help it to prevent from warping. You can also help prevent warping by clicking over here and turning the brim on. And you, some printers use raft, but raft uses a lot of filament because the raft will actually put filament underneath there. So I'll show you that here in a second. So we're going to go ahead and click over here on the view mode and go to layers so you can see the different layers. So here are each one of the layers that your printer is going to go through. So I can change this by moving down and I can see exactly what each one's going to be. So this, this like teal color right here, that is the support structure that is built. So you can scroll up and down and see exactly what it's going to do. Now if I went platform adhesion and put brim on there, brim is a great way to help things from warping up. And what that is, is that our lines around the print, you can see these right here, that work as suction cups to help keep the print down and prevent it from buckling. You can also turn on a raft if you want, but we don't recommend rafts because if you have a 3D printer that's tuned properly, you won't have to use a raft because a raft is extra filament that's on the bottom layer of the print that you'll have to peel off later. So you can see like as I move down here to the very bottom, you'll see that these bottom layers are rafts right there. So these layers will print underneath your model and this can this is going to use see four layers of filament for this raft itself and you don't really need that. It's not really necessary if you have a printer that's leveled properly and tuned correctly. And then that's why we go through our trainings on how to level and you can even go to our video and check that out on uh, how to level your NWA 3D A5 to make sure that you don't need to print with a raft. So we'll go ahead and turn that off right there. And I can click my view mode and go back to normal if I want to move my models back around. And I can even get rid of one of my models by clicking on it and pressing delete. So that's an overview of how Cura works and how you'll be able to slice it. And the last thing that you're going to do, though, is you're going to save it from Cura to your 3D printer. So to do that, you can either click Save Toolpath right here and then click where you want to save your G-code for the printer. Or if you insert an SD card, you'll see that this will turn to SD. And when it turns to SD, it will automatically save it straight to your SD card right there. So it sent it straight to the SD card, and you can click Eject right here to eject it. And then you can take that file, that G-code file that you made, and put that on your printer to be able to print. So I hope this was helpful, and you guys have fun 3D printing, and if you need any help from us, you can go to nwa3d.com support, and we'll help you through every step of the way. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.